a movie or a TV show, or both. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So as you know, I've just done a video, you may have seen it, about the Twitter storm and um, the executives at Amazon requesting reports based on what has been going on and how interested people really are in the Stargate franchise. Well, I can now tell you as well, after speaking to other sources, that it does seem to be more and more likely, I would say almost 100% certain, the Stargate will be returning to our screens. And that actually, it is not going to be a choice between a movie or a TV show. They are planning both. So I can actually tell you what is being looked at at the moment by reports from um, somebody that works in and around Jennifer Salk and what she's been requesting, and she is the head of Amazon Studios. So according to the people I speak to, yes, there is a movie being planned for Stargate. And Kurt Russell has already been approached to potentially return to that movie. But they have a clever little plan on how to do that movie without pissing all over canon, which I'll tell you about in a minute. There is also the possibility that Brad Wright's script that was written over three years ago for MGM could still be produced and that is still being considered, but it is not likely. The chances are that if Brad Wright does return as the showrunner, which again is very, very possible, there would be a request for him to rewrite the script or rework it very heavily um, to fit in with the now wider project that is planned for the Stargate franchise. There is also two other projects being considered. One, put it very basically, they've done very, very early preliminary thinking about what they would do if Brad Wright doesn't return and who they might approach about doing a new series. Um, but uh, what I'm told is that's in very, very early stages of consideration. The other fourth project that is seriously being considered is an ancient prequel. Um, apparently they have gone as far as having an idea of where a story arc would go and writers and a producer have been approached, but nothing has been confirmed. To clarify, we basically have four Stargate projects seriously being considered right now at Amazon. A movie, the Brad Wright project or a project that Brad Wright would still run. A third project that would be run without Brad Wright and they've gone as far as considering who that other showrunner might be. Or and a fourth prequel series that would be based in and around the Ancients. So how could they do a movie with Kurt Russell without peeing all over canon? Well, from what I'm told, producers and people at Amazon and at MGM are not bothered in the slightest that Kurt Russell would return. And they don't see that this has any real impact on SG-1, SG or SGA, or it has to affect canon at all. They've swapped out actors before. Actors from the Stargate original movie appeared in the series. And so they don't believe that that's necessarily a problem if Kurt Russell was to return. And Kurt Russell, if they do do a movie at the end of the day, is a bigger draw than Richard Dean Anderson, they believe at least, for the wider audience. Stargate fans would want Richard Dean Anderson. Somebody new would want to watch a movie with Kurt Russell, is generally the thinking. Now, how could they do this without destroying canon? Because, from what I'm told, this will be set up as a sequel to the original movie. Kind of. Well... The plan is to do a very specific storyline. Kurt Russell would be the centre of that storyline as General O'Neill. And the story would be focused on an off-world planet. The idea being that the story would be so focused they just simply wouldn't mention events of Stargate SG-1, SG Universe or SG Atlantis. We wouldn't see spaceships built by the Tauri or any real specific events that happened within the TV series. So. Even though they won't necessarily acknowledge the TV series, they'll be very careful not to have anything in the movie that tramples on what happened in the TV series. So even though they won't reference what happened, like the replicators and things like this, they won't reference that it didn't happen either. So the storyline is being reworked and reformatted so that it can really fit nicely in between both. The movie could be a standalone project, 
something that could be referenced in future series, but that basically wouldn't trample over what's come before. Now, I think that's a really interesting way of doing it. I think if it was alongside a television series that is, is a continuation of the story, that works well for me. I have absolutely no problem with Kurt Russell returning as General O'Neill. At the end of the day, they both play the part. So if Richard Dean Anderson doesn't want to do it, then so be it. Um, we switched actors before, so why not just switch back? The main thing for me, though, is that a movie is an hour and a half. It can be one specific story. It can be a throwback to the original movie. And if they do it right, it doesn't have to trample over the canon that we love. But a TV series must be a continuation of the story. We cannot just forget that SG-1 ever existed. And we cannot ever just erase that 15 years of television. So for me, a movie can be this side project. It can be a bit of fun and it can be something that harks back to the original movie. A movie that you have to remember is MGM's 10th highest grosser movie of all time. As long as the TV series is a continuation of Brad Wright's original series. I should also mention though that it has been mentioned to me more than once now that Amazon are looking at what Kurtzman has done with Star Trek and that they consider that to be a model for how to move forwards with Stargate. Now, I haven't had any specifics on what that exactly means, but to me, that means that this will be sort of a hybridization of canon, that they will come back with a new project, that they won't worry too much about canon when it hampers the future story. Um, but they will reference canon repeatedly to try to keep the original fans happy. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Strange New Worlds is a very good show. It kind of messes with canon, but it references canon as well, so it does keep us happy. But the characters are so good that we don't mind too much. Discovery, the characters are boring and it does peel over canon constantly and even though it references things from the original so to try and keep us happy it doesn't do it in a very good way so for me if they do this hybridized thing that they seem to want to do i'm in two minds about whether it could work or not it really basically comes down to the showrunner and the writers and whether if it's not brad they get somebody that loves the show and loves the ideas, but maybe does want to bring something new, but does it in a way that doesn't piss all of us off. So if you are new to the channel, please go to side-trek.com for merchandise. You can pick your team. I'm personally an SG Wanna. Um, you can also pick an SGU and SGA. Also, if you like the content, please consider becoming a fully fledged side trekker. Please hit the join button. As always, guys, please stay safe and um Keep up the Twitter storm. Keep tweeting out there. Hashtag we want Stargate because they are listening. Please stay safe. I'll see you soon.